All right, guys, let's start seeing how this looks as a whole. So let's first select the first body. We're going to shift select the last body to select them all. And let's just deselect this tire because we don't want to mirror this and duplicate that. So let's go to create mirror and let's rotate around and let's select our mirror plane, which is this one here. And let's hit OK. And ta-da, it's magic. It's looking pretty good so far, guys. Now let's start combining some of this geometry together. So we'll select this half and this half and select join. Now we'll go around the front and we'll start uh, joining these together as well. So let's hit combine. Let's grab this half, now this half. Let's hit join. And let's just keep repeating this. So we'll combine these two halves together. And it also gets rid of that seam. And really quick before we merge these two parts of the hood together, I want to create a pipe and select this center edge here. And this will act as a uh, custom seam from the welding of the sheet metal. So let's just downscale this, ensure the operation is set to cut, and let's hit OK. Now we can uh, continue to merging these two halves together. So OK, now that's great. Now let's merge these part together at the bottom. So this part and this one. Looking pretty good so far, guys. Now let's go underneath here. And I just want to connect these two together. So we're going to select this surface and create a sketch. And we'll just use the two-point rectangle tool to kind of uh, draw a giant rectangle over this top edge here. So from this corner, and we'll just go as far out as we need to just to ensure we cover this area. Now we can uh, right-click and hit OK. And let's just select this surface and press pull this. And we're just going to press pull it to the opposite side. And let's change it from cut to new body. And this allows us to go to combine. And we'll just combine all three of these parts together to create one. Just so we don't have so many bodies laying around. Ensure it's on join and hit OK. And at this time, I'd like to return back to the left view. And let's just toggle on our reference really quick. And let's start working on uh, the steering wheel. So let's go to create sketch. Let's choose the 2D background. Now there's a lot of ways to go about doing this, but uh, one way I think I'll do is uh, use the two point rectangle tool. And I want to just create a uh, half of this model in symmetry. So I'll draw a giant rectang rectangle going down. And um, that looks like it'd be the size of half of it. And I'll just double click this and I'll move this and I'll rotate it to match the reference a bit. And just to mention, this reference is a little bit off, so we will be moving this later on. And what I'm doing now is lining this up with half of the model, so we'll pull this top edge to match the reference's top edge as well. And let's use our line tool to kind of sketch out the, uh, the top area here. So once we do our revolve, this area will uh, complete itself. Let's go up and let's go back to the center. Now we can use our trim icon and we'll just trim off this area in the middle. Now let's right click and get out of here. Now is a good time to finish sketch. And we'll just select this uh, revolve icon. And for the axis will be this center line here. Change it from cut to new body. And now we can start working on the actual uh, steering wheel, which is this round area here. So we'll go to create sketch. We'll select this background once again. And this is not a way to, to go about this, but I think I'll use the line tool this time. And I'll just create a line going from the beginning to the center point of the steering wheel. And we'll just uh, duplicate this line, control C, control V. And we'll just move this down to match the bottom of the reference. And this is just gonna be uh, a rectangle. So we're gonna grab the line tool again and connect these end pieces. So once we finish sketch, we can then revolve. So let's select revolve once again, select the surface, and for the axes will be this center line here in the middle. And now it creates a nice little revolve uh, circular shape. Change the new body and let's hit OK. And now I'm gonna go to create pipe. And like I said, this was just a reference for the steering wheel. So we're just gonna create a pipe around the edge ring so where are you pipe? Let's select this edge and let's scale this up a bit. This is looking look it's looking a little bit too thin. And we'll just adjust it later if it's too big. Let's change it to new body. Looks pretty good. 
Now I think it's a good time to reposition this. So we'll go to the layers and we'll go to move. And let's go to uh, set the pivot. And we're gonna choose the center point here. And let's check this one more time so we don't move it. And now we can actually slide this down from the correct position. And this looks great. Now let's go back around the front and we can remove this reference here. And let's press pull on this uh, steering wheel so we can make this a bit smaller. That looked way too huge, which gives away uh, the realism. Now let's select this surface here and create a sketch. Now I'm gonna use my line tool to kind of draw some of the areas of the steering wheel. I don't know the correct term for it. So we'll just start from this center point here and just go directly up. So it goes through this uh, steering wheel here. And that looks fine, so we'll just exit out of this and finish sketch. And we're gonna go to Create Pipe to give this some thickness. And let's just rotate around and make this a bit smaller. And it's good to have so many reference images so uh, we can definitely visualize this a bit better. Let's change it from cut to new body. And I want to reposition this. So let's uh, left or right click on the layer, go to set pivot, and let's choose that center point again. And don't forget to reselect it so you don't move that pivot point. Now we can just slide it directly down. And that looks perfect right here. I said OK. And now I just want to go to create pattern. And I'm going to pattern, pattern this around so we can have a total of three pipes going through the handle. So let's select, ensure this is changed to bodies too, because if it's on face, you can't actually select it. Now we'll just choose one of these rings and it's set to three, now we can hit okay. Now let's start combining these all together. So we'll grab this point here, this one, this one, this one, and this here. Set it to join and hit okay. Now we can hit F to go into fillet mode and we'll just fill it uh, these edges right here. And this will be like the welding marks of the pipe being bolted here. Pull it here, that looks great, hit okay. Now I wanna select this surface and I wanna create a nice little nut or bolt to go through here. So let's create a sketch. Let's go to create, grab this polygon here, choose this. And from this center point, we'll just drag outwards to create that shape and we'll just press pull this out so it's extruding. And I hope I'm not moving too fast for you guys. And if I am, uh, just let me know or raise your hand. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, class, this will be on YouTube later on, so you guys can rewatch at your own speed. Now, um, I'm just repositioning the steering wheel now because, like I mentioned earlier, the blueprints are actually incorrect because it was in perspective and they forced it to be an orthographic for uh, reference. Now let's just move this to the left so the driver can actually uh, reach this. So. With the reference image to turn back on, I can kind of use that to guide myself. And this is, uh, this looks fine. Actually, I'll slide it over just a tad bit. Now hit OK. Now let's turn back off this reference. Now let's start working on some of this detail here. But first, I'm going to extend this area. So I'm going to left click and hold so I can select this surface. So I can press pull it. I just want to have it intersect with this bottom area. And that's fine. And I'm, I have a reference here that I'm actually looking at on my other monitor. So uh, I'm going to create a sketch on this surface because there's a nice little cutout area before, so the pipe doesn't actually uh, protrude through this surface. So I'm going to select the line tool and just kind of sketch out a cutout area. And let's go back down to the bottom. Now we can press pull this profile. And we want to pull it back so that it's no longer uh, conflicting with the pipe. And change it from cut to new body so we don't actually cut through that pipe. Now we can combine and then grab that body and set it to cut. And let's hit after going to fillet mode and we're just gonna round off these harsh edges. And don't worry class, we're almost done so you guys can take a break or, or you know. Let's select this surface and create a sketch. And uh, I'm going to start adding uh, the dashboard uh, detail here. So I'm going to create a giant rectangle attached to an even smaller rectangle, if that makes any sense. Now we're going to just select these both and uh, press pull these. We're just going to pull it out slightly. 
and this looks fine. Let's hit OK. And I want to hit F so I can go into fillet mode. And I just want to round off these two edges here. Hit OK. And let's go back into fillet mode. And I'll select this edge. Pull this out. Fillet mode once again. And we'll grab these two edges on the right. And this looks great. And let's go back into fillet mode for this last edge here. And lastly, we'll enter fillet mode one last time to select this entire ring. And we're just gonna finish up here before we end the video. So this looks great. And we're done.